You know, the heat is having a trickle down effect on so many things like free device pickups for device pickups for families in Baltimore City in the school district. A local health advocate was at school headquarters Thursday and was appalled that people were standing in line for hours in the heat. WMER 2 News Eddie Kadem, it's Baltimore City School Headquarters tonight. Where is there another giveaway tomorrow morning, Eddie? Yeah, that's right, Kelly. 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning tomorrow, just in the last hour, a school spokesperson reached out to me and they told me they are going to make some improvements to the conditions for people, letting more people inside the building in the common areas with social distancing, of course, practiced in that air conditioning. And they're going to bring some water for people that are stuck waiting outside and they hope to have a screening process ready to go for tomorrow so that they can get people in and get them out faster. The digital divide is a huge hurdle in ensuring a quality education for Baltimore City's young people. So the fact that families are in need, that's not the bigger issue. But the way you assist them when they're in need, the way you treat people when they're in need, speaks to you and not to them. The school district is providing laptops and tablets for students as they prepare to start out the year virtually. Last week, they sent out this flyer inviting families to pick up devices. Erica Hamlet recorded this video on Thursday when the city was under a heat advisory. She says the line was long and it was so hot she left to buy three cases of water to give to people waiting. You were requiring families to stand outside in the heat and you didn't think that she should provide tents or water for these people and you didn't make any provisions beforehand to let them know exactly how this was going to work because the flyer didn't say anything about standing outside so people were assuming that they were going to be coming in the building picking up the devices and leaving she says a spokesperson for the school district got back to her on friday saying they will address her concerns so there were some elderly people there were some pregnant women so they were holding their place in line letting them go and sit on the wall and standing in line for them. In the meantime, she's frustrated and also wants clarity on why the event ended at two when it was supposed to end at six. It is hot outside, it is July. Um, some people have to bring their children. Some people are gonna be disabled. Some people were, some people's guardians are disabled. And I just, I'm not shocked, but it's just still disgusting. And Hamla told me she plans on coming out tomorrow to make sure that the uh, school district is getting people in, getting them air conditioning, getting them water as quickly as possible, as they, as I said in the intro here, that they did promise to do. We're going to continue to follow this situation as well. Live at Baltimore City School Headquarters, Eddie Catum, WMAR 2 News. All right.